Okay, so today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting rational expressions. Now the key here for adding and subtracting fractions is to get a common denominator. So when adding and subtracting, you need to look at the denominator and make sure that they are the same. So in example number one, the denominator here is 15x, and the denominator of the second fraction is 15x. So we're set to go. So all we really need to do now is add the numerator. So we get 11, and the denominator stays the same. And if we could uh, simplify, we would, but it's simplified, it's done. Okay, take a look at number two. Always look, make sure your denominators are the same, and they are. In this case, we're subtracting. So subtracting the numerator. So since we can't really subtract these, we're just going to write it out. So 5x minus 4. And don't forget, your denominator stays the same. And no simplifying there. Okay, so let's look at three. So for number three, notice that these denominators are not the same. So what you need to do is you need to first, number one, factor the denominators. Okay, so factoring this one over here, we're going to factor out the 4. Okay, now when we look at the two denominators, we have two groups that are the same. So this group matches this group, so that's good. But we have a 4 over here, so that means we need to multiply this side by 4 over 4. Remember, 4 over 4 is 1. Okay, so we're not really, ch we're changing the way this fraction looks, um, but we're really not changing um, its value, if you will, because for anything times 1 is itself. So notice that the denominators are now the same. So since the denominators are the same, we're going to go ahead and add the numerator. So 2 plus 28 is 30. And the denominator stays the same. Now here's an instance where we can do some continued uh, simplifying. So we could simplify this here by 2. We get 2 goes into 30 15 times, 2 goes into 4 twice. Always simplify your answer if possible. Okay, let's take a look at number 4. Well, there's no factoring here, but we have two groups. We have this group and we have this group. And they're not the same. So that means that this needs an x minus 5. And I'll move my number over here. And this needs an x plus 2. Always put it over itself because remember, anything divided by itself is 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. So we're, we do this in order to get a common denominator. Notice that our denominators are now the same. So we have a little work to do. We need to distribute the numbers. So distributing the 7, the positive 7, so we get 7x. Distributing it here, distributing it here, we get minus 35. So in this case, we have a negative 4. Distributing a negative 4, we get negative 4x and negative 8. Over our common denominator, our denominator stays the same.
and we get, simplifying our numerator, we get 3x, combining like terms, and negative 35 um, minus 8 is going to be negative 43. And our denominator, of course, stays the same. Now we can't factor the numerator, okay? So it's just going to stay the same. Okay, now um, if you still need another example, let's take a look at another problem. Let's see. Before we stop before, we'll do one more example. We'll do a simpler one, because sometimes the simpler ones cause us to stumble more than the more complicated ones. So we're looking at our denominators. Okay, are they the same? No. So we have 4x and 2x. So we have to ask, well, how can I make them the same? Well, I can make this 2 into a 4 by multiplying by 2. Always remember to if you're going to multiply the denominator by 2, you have to do it to the numerator. So now we have a common denominator of 4x. So 5 plus 6 over, and the denominator stays the same. And we can't simplify that any farther. Okay. Do you guys need another one, or is that good? Okay, Andreas, one more for you. I know you want all the help I can give you. So let's do one more, just for fun. Okay, so since we're adding, we want to make the denominators the same. Well, this is factored. You can't factor that, I mean, any farther. So we can factor this. Doing our x factor, we find out that this is going to factor 2, 10, and 2. 10 times 2 is 20. 10 plus 2 is 12. Those are always nice when the a value is 1. All right, now looking at our denominators, we both have a y plus 10, uh, but this one has a y plus 2, so this needs a y plus 2 over y plus 2. So now our denominators are the same. So doing the math on the top, distributing the 5, we get 5y plus 10 plus 4y, the denominator stays the same. And order doesn't matter when multiplying. So y plus 10 times y plus 2, or y plus 2 plus y plus 10. Simplifying our numerator. Can't factor that, so we're just going to leave it alone. Denominator stays the same, and we're done. All right, I hope that helps. We still got that in under 10 minutes. Well, I hope you're having a good night. See you tomorrow.